Hi guys, Heather with Divine Guidance Tarot, back at you with another pick a deck. This time it's, are they watching your social media and what are they thinking? So um, I have six options. So take a deep breath and think of your person and then choose from one, two, three, four, five, or six. And move these out of the way, pause the video if you need more time. So if you chose the ring, as always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. If it doesn't resonate, don't listen. Find a YouTube reader that can help you. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below, and we'll get you set up. So we have Varjanyogini, the essence of all Buddhas. I have the power to make each moment sacred. Everything is material for my liberation. The only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus from the problem back to love. We have the Page of Swords, so Air Energy, Aquarius, Sleeper, Gemini. The Four of Swords, more Air Energy, Aquarius, Sleeper, Gemini. Integrity. The King of Wands, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And the Six of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Hmm. So I do think that they look at your social media from time to time, mostly when they're sleeping at night. Um, but for the most part, I feel like they try and avoid it because I feel like they're with someone else and that person might be pregnant or they might have children with this person. I definitely do feel third party because if you can see in this card... There's family, right? There's a bunch of families. There's a whole bunch of people. So I feel like this person has um, a family that expects a lot out of them. Okay, this fam their family, their family expects a lot out of them. Okay, they, uh, this person keeps a, up a barrier with most people. Okay, they, they keep, they keep a mask on. And this person, I feel, is is a very noble person. And I feel they're doing their best to make the situation work with their person. So I do think they look at your social media, but I think it's at night before they go to bed. I'm feeling like Leo vibes here and Aquarius. But the Aquarius vibes, Aquarius, Leo, Gemini vibes, Aries, Leo, Sag. Uh, the strongest one is is that's coming through is 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 a Leo or and then the Aquarius Libra Gemini, but yeah, strongest is Leo and Aquarius. Honestly, is what I'm feeling. But the Aquarius is smaller in their chart than Leo. So you have the Page of Cups. What did I say? They watch you on their phone. They are watching you. But what are they thinking? I feel like they think that you're a very uh person with high integrity you're someone that always does the right thing that fell get out there you're some oh you're someone that always does the right thing okay i feel like you walk away you you, you walk away from i'm actually honestly getting that i feel like a lot of you guys took off you either moved, went on, you know, got took a new job, went overseas, got a new apartment, got a new job. If that's where you saw this person, it's like they can't see you anymore. I'm think I'm seeing a long distance. It's like they can't see you anymore. And if it's not a long physical distance, it's just a um, communication. I don't feel like communication. There's any communication going on here between the two of you. Um, you have the Nine of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. Okay, that's too many. I did see the star, though. So uh, Aquarius, like I said. But Earth Energy and more Air Energy. So Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So the only thing that's missing... No, they're all represented. Earth, Air, Fire, and Water. So all signs are represented. 
But like I said, Leo and Aquarius, because it started to come out. And then the Three of Wands, the Sun, the Three of Wands, and then the Six of Cups with the Hermit. Okay, so I feel like I feel like this person watches you more than you think that they do. But it's from it's from like a spy account. This person has a spy account. Okay, um, they might possibly have put their birthday as like. 93 1993 i'm getting like a a three at the end 83 93 something with a three maybe even maybe even a six could be uh their birthday might be i don't know but uh yeah i feel like this person has fake accounts at least four of them, three or four accounts that they, it's like they're spying on you. It's like you're in communication, but you're not in communication. I'm not understanding. Maybe it's telepathic communication with the sun here and the four of wands. It could be you're in telepathic communication with this person. It could also be that they have fake accounts that they talk to you on. Maybe you're friends with someone from like across the country you know, you, they, you, you like share like a mutual interest, like books or music or something. And they like hit you up on Instagram or Facebook and you're talking. I feel like, I feel like you're talking to them. Whoever, whatever fake profiles they have, I feel like they use the opposite sex of them. So like if they're male, they're going to use a female account, a fake female account. If they're female, they're going to use a fake male account. Um, because I feel like they're scared to talk to you like in, I feel like they'll, they're trying to fish for information, like befriending you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like this person wants to talk to you, wants to be friends with you, but they're so scared that you're going to like just outright reject them, that they do it in an only way they know how in a, in a sneak. I'm surprised the seven of swords didn't come out. Could be dealing with a Virgo with the hermit there too. This person's very withdrawn right now, very depressed. Wheel of fortune. Yeah. Nothing's going their way. They feel alone. They feel chaotic. They feel blocked. They're missing you. Five of Swords, they're, ooh, they're on thin ice. Ace of Swords in reverse. I think they're going to get caught. I think they're going to get caught, like, on a fake account looking at your social media. They're going to get caught reading off to a picture of yours. They're, they're, their person they're with is going to catch them, like, talking to you. And if they're not on a fake account, if you are just talking to this person back and forth, on like their real account, then their partner is going to find out. So just watch out for that. Be aware. All right. If that resonated, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below and we'll get you set up. Love and light. All right. It shows the black. As always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. If it doesn't resonate, don't listen. Find a YouTube reader that can help you. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below and we'll get you set up. We have St. Bridget, Our Lady of Exalted Light. I give endlessly because the light is without end. My soul is all I need. Be supportive. Make a genuine effort to show you care. The tower. The sun. This could be dealing with like any sign. And then a Leo. Sovereignty. The Chariot, so Cancer Energy. And the Eight of Swords, Air Energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So are they watching your social media? I feel like I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say yes. But I'm getting a very feminine energy here, okay? A very feminine energy here. So I'm feeling like this is... Um, even if it's a male you're asking about, it's still a very feminine energy coming through. Um, 
I feel like this person misses you. I don't feel like you're in contact with this person. I, I really am feeling a friendship. Okay, I'm feeling like a friendship here that kind of like went bad. It's like, it's like you guys were mirroring each other. Okay, it's like you were mirroring each other, but one of you was blindfolded. I feel like this is my same sex pile. Okay, this is going to be my same sex pile, especially right here with this, with the, the nun right there. This person might be religious, okay, and they might be um, gay, transgender, bisexual, something. They're in the closet, and they don't want anybody to know. They don't want anybody to know. They don't feel like they would be supported, okay? They don't feel like they would be accepted. They don't feel like they would be accepted. Okay, because they don't accept themselves. So how can anyone else accept them? You know what I'm saying? I feel like this person is a religious person, okay, or at least has the belief that being gay is a sin or do you know what I'm saying? Like they, that's what I'm getting. They're the same sex as you. There's no communication going on. I feel as though you guys had some sort of falling out. Or if not a falling out, then you guys just don't really speak. Maybe you stayed Facebook friends, but like you don't talk anymore, but this person misses you. Let's see what else. They miss you and they do watch your social media because they want to support you. I feel like this person wants to support you. Yeah. Ten of swords. I don't read reverse. Sorry. Ten of swords and the five of wands. So air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, fire energy, Aries, Leader, Sagittarius. They're fighting with themselves. They're crying. They're fighting with themselves. The Empress and the Ace of Wands. Yeah, see? With the Queen of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, so they definitely carry a passion for you. They see you as beautiful. They see you as a good mother if you're a mother, a good father if you're a, good fa if you're a father. Uh, but it gives them anxiety thinking about coming out. So I feel like they're just content to watch your social media and kind of cheer you on from the side. And I don't think they're going to ever, I, I mean, are they going to tell you? Are they going to talk to you again? Are they going to talk to you again? Are they going to come back and at least try and be friends? I'm not sure what happened between you two. You have the lovers and the seven of wands. So yes, I feel like this person is going to come back. Okay. Eight of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So with the queen of wands. So I feel like they're working hard on embracing themselves. They're working hard on making themselves more like you. Because I feel like I said, like, this is my, you know, open pile. Or at least um, a uh, supporter. You know what I'm saying? Like, but yes, this person is watching your social media. They're cheering you on. They think you're beautiful. They carry a passion for you. But they're still really scared to let anybody know that they have feelings for someone of the same sex as them. It gives them, I can feel the anxiety pouring off of it. They fear judgment of God, of others. So, but they will get back in contact with you. So if that resonated, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below and we'll get you set up. Love and light. So if you chose the bracelet, Michelle gave me that. I love it. All right. As always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. If it doesn't resonate, don't listen. Find a YouTube reader that can help you. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below and we'll get you set up. So we have Perpetua, the saint of authenticity. I am my authentic self in all circumstances. Honesty is essential. The Knight of Swords. The Six of Swords, Loss, the Two of Swords, and the Three of Wands. No, this person is not watching your social media. And all of these cards, She's blindfolded. Her back is turned. He's looking down. She's looking away. She's looking up. No, they're not. They're not watching you. I feel like they do. Uh, 
write about you though, or they write about you. They're like, they're constantly thinking about you. They're constantly writing about you. They're constantly, I feel like this person like, I feel like this person might, um, might sleep a lot. Okay. They might be sad. Um, because I feel like this person doesn't feel like they can express themselves to you. I feel like a lot of you guys might have a hot temper. Okay. Um, you guys might have, have like a sharp tongue with the air energy here. There's so much air energy and a little bit of fire. So, you know, that little spark, if you put enough air into it. So I feel like you're someone that kind of blows up. You're probably a pretty peaceful person for the most part. But like when you get upset, when you start to feel that like flicker in your gut or your chest, I do feel as though you've gotten better. I feel like a lot of you guys have started meditating. Okay. Um, I do. I feel like I, I honestly feel like you're in contact with this person. So you're either friends on Facebook, you and you know that they can they can see your stuff. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like they do, but they don't like stalk you. Like it's like it's like they do and then they don't. It's like if you're on their feed, they'll like like your picture or something, but they like don't really comment. Um, and if you do, if you guys do, I feel like I feel, do feel like you talk to this person, but I feel like communication's like on and off. Like I said, because I feel like you get kind of bossy. I'm feeling like bossiness from this. Like you guys, they feel like you're you're bossy. Like you know everything, Miss Know It All or Mister Know It All. And they don't feel like they can tell you that. Yeah, Seven of Cups, so water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They don't feel like they can tell you that. They don't feel like they can tell you that you hurt their feelings with your words or your tone. Hearing tone. Yeah, see, the Three of Swords and the Five of Cups. So more air energy, Aquarius, Super Gemini, and the Five of Cups. You make, you, put, you make this person feel small. This person cares about you a lot, but they're very intimidated by you. They're very intimidated by you, and you make them feel small like a shadow like it's like because you're so shiny you know it's like you have all this knowledge and they don't i feel like they put you on a pedestal yeah they do you have the emperor the three of wands and the page of wands so some of you guys might be mothers okay and you guys might um there's the king of pentacles on the bottom of the deck you guys might be a more um masculine sort of an energy you know, you might be a mother or a father, but you're definitely more of a masculine energy coming through, someone that's very grounded in the reality, uh, someone who's very passionate. But I do feel as though you're kind of, it, it's like you, it's like you have this, this grounded yet flighty, it's like you, you yo-yo. So you guys might have, be, bi be bipolar, um, struggle with depression, um, but it's like you can you can like literally go from hot to cold in like two seconds. And this person, I feel, is is a little more timid than you. And you you give that it gives them a sense of anxiety when you you talk to them because I feel like I don't feel like you know your words are harsh. I don't feel like you're doing it on purpose. I feel like I'm not seeing jealousy. I'm not seeing I'm just I'm seeing this person loves you, wants what's best for you, but you are sharp with your words. And so they feel like they can't, they can't communicate with you. Could be dealing with an Aries. Yeah. It's just like, it's like they purposely don't look at your social media. Like they don't go purposely look at your, cause I, I feel like you guys are in contact. I'm feeling a friendship here. You guys are in contact. It's a friendship. You're at least friends on social media. So you know that they see their stuff, your stuff. But what they're thinking is they're thinking that they want to be able to tell you they like you. I feel like you guys might be writers. They might have read. They might have read something you wrote. Okay. Or they write about you. Um, but like if you write, they, they read your poetry and they find it beautiful. If you sing, they love your voice. Whatever talent you have, I feel like this person has the same one. And they see you as like they're equal.
but they're still a little bit intimidated by you because they do put you on a pedestal. So like they would want to like combine, like, like they want to work with you, but I do feel like they don't want to approach you about it because they're nervous about um, your words. So if that resonated, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below and we'll get you set up. All right, if you chose this one. As always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. If it doesn't resonate, don't listen. Find a YouTube reader that can help you. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below and we'll get you set up. So we have Isis, the goddess of magic. Sexual energy is sacred. My pleasure is a prayer that brings me back to life. Back to what you love. Your current situation is giving you an opportunity to reevaluate what you want. Two of Wands. The Ace of Pentacles. Respite. Ten of Cups. And the Queen of Wands. Yes, and be careful. Be careful. This is someone you're like in competition with. Okay, whether that's for a job, whether that's for an apartment, but I'm really feeling family. Okay. I'm really feeling family with, with this right here. This person might even have two children. Okay. This person could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aries, Leader, Sagittarius. Okay. Um, definitely feeling female and it's a rival. Okay. This person, this person might be married. Okay. I feel like this person is married or in a commitment. Um, and has a family, but they're, I feel like their partner, I feel like, I feel like their partner, like, does mad, they do magic, or their partner does magic. There's magic involved here in order to keep the family together. And if it's not magic, it's like, it's like a, a false thing. It's like a false family. Like they're not really a family. If you can see, he's like smelling her hair and she's not even looking at him. Neither one of them is looking at their children. It's like a fake family. So that if this person is married with children, it's a show. Like they don't want to be with their person. This person doesn't want to be with their person. Okay. Um, I do feel as though uh, they use sex magic. Okay, um, this person uses sex magic, dark magic, um, blood magic. Ugh. This is like, this is like really, this is really dark, guys. This is like, they do magic. They do magic. And I feel like they're sending a lot of nasty vibes your way. Why? Why are they sending nasty vibes your way? Like, but the whole question was, are they watching your social media? And yes, they are very closely but why but why why are they watching you why are they watching you ace of swords ace of pentacles two aces out. so you have air energy aquarius and gemini Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the moon, <clears throat> cancer energy coming through, the tower, and the five of cups. So why are they watching you? Okay, so I feel like, because you have the two of pentacles on the bottom of the deck with the magician in reverse. I'm leaving him there because that's that's a sign to me. The six of coins, that was in reverse. I'm going to leave it like that too. And then the, the strength card. So Leo, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aquarius, Sagittarius. This person feels like their soulmate, they're losing their family. <clears throat> this person watches you because they feel like you're going to take their family. Like you're going to take, you're going to take their person and their family is going to be ruined. I feel like this person uses this energy, this energy uses their person for money. They manipulate them and bash them and abuse them. And this person, this person they're with 
submits because I feel like this is a very dominant energy, a very masculine energy. And the person they're with is a very feminine energy. It doesn't matter if they're male or female. I'm still feeling that the, their partner takes on more of like a feminine role in behind closed doors. Do you know what I'm saying? Like she wears the pants more. The feminine is in charge and she's very protective of, of this masculine or this feminine. This masculine is very protective of this feminine. I'm getting that this is a masculine energy. Okay. Does not have to be a male, can be a female, but is in a masculine energy. Okay. Very confrontational, very manipulative, very root based, very just 3d, but I do feel like they attempt to, they, they attempt to do magic on their person and uh sex magic or dark magic blood magic something some nasty sort of ma i gotta get out of here guys but they are watching you because they want to make damn sure you're not talking to their man you're talking to their woman they're keeping an eye on things for sure so just look out all right just protect yourself get some fucking sage this nasty energy clear that out Oof. Any, any negative energy that is, does not belong here needs to leave immediately. In the name of Jesus, leave. Okay. All right. So if you chose this little diamond, is your person watching? Who Are they watching you and what are they thinking? As always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. If it doesn't resonate, don't listen. Find a YouTube reader that can help you. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below and we'll get you set up. We have Diana, queen of the wilderness. The language of the natural world is a frequency of love. This is my mother tongue. Demonstrate love. Find out what is important to the people you love and act on it. Seven of cups. The seven of swords. You got two sevens there. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Drama. Princess of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and the Three of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yes, this person does watch you. This person watches you because they want to know what you're interested in. This person wants to get to know you. I feel like there's a lot of drama between the two of you. Mostly due to miscommunication and a third party. Okay, I feel as though this person feels lost. It's like they feel lost without you. It's like you ran away from this connection and they're just now realizing what this connection is. If you can see them, the full moon is in both cards. I feel like the last full moon, they had some sort of awakening or awareness as to who you were to them. I feel like this person feels like you're beautiful. They love you. This person loves you. They think you're beyond beautiful. I do feel as though you guys are drama queens or kings, okay? I feel, <laughs> I feel like you guys are pretty spicy. <laughs> uh -huh. I feel like you're fiercely independent, okay? They, they're watching you be independent and leave the drama of this situation behind. I feel like you, you walked away from this. You walked away from, you, you like literally ran from this connection. Okay. I feel like with the Diana card here and the demonstrate love with the drama and the three of cups, you tried to tell this person that you loved them. I feel like you repeatedly told this person you loved them and they like, they like made you feel like you were nothing. This person, I feel like broke you. I don't feel like you feel broken though. I feel like you feel strong. I feel like this person made you stronger. Whatever went down between you two, whatever fighting, they don't want to fight anymore. They don't want to be in a third party anymore. They want to show you they love you. They want to talk to you. And they're stalking your social media because they want to know what you're interested in. They want to know what you're interested in. They definitely spy on you. How do they spy on you? I feel like, because I feel like this person's blocked. I feel like you, like I said, you ran, you blocked this person, you blocked this connection out. So how are they spying on you? The Eight of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. The Ace of Swords. 
and the Knight of Wands. So they have their friends watching you. Okay, they have their friends watching you. The Ace of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. Cap, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and then uh, any sign. Queen of Swords on the bottom deck. Yeah, like I said, you cut this person out. And they love you. They're like obsessed with you. Look at that. You have the fountain and the devil. The fountains in reverse. It's like, it's like they, they can't talk to you. Trying to talk to you gives them such a panic, like as themselves. And I feel like it's because of the third party. This is kind of similar to deck one. They're, they made a fake account. Maybe several. Although I feel like this is this, this is kind of opposite of deck one. Like deck one was more they were trying to get to know you by pretending to be like the same sex as you through a fake account. This one is more of they make male accounts, masculine accounts. So you're, these are going to be guys in your inbox. Hey, baby, you're so beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how they're going to try and play it. This knight of wands energy and this devil energy. So if, if you have random guys messaging you, hitting you up, and you don't know who they are, and you, you know, your mutual friends are people you don't really know. It's probably a stalker. You'll know. I feel like you intuitively know when this person is talking to you through different accounts. And I feel like you block them a lot. I feel like you I feel like you guys found out that they were watching you from a weird account and you blocked them. And it's like, so they tried again and you blocked them again. It's like every time they come at you from whatever direction they're coming at you, you you like swerve. And block them but yes they do watch you they have their friends watch you and they probably talk to you on fake accounts because they want to know what you're interested in this person loves you but because of the third party they're scared to come to you and i don't think that they're they don't want to get out of their third party unless they know you're still committed to them or you still love them you know what i'm saying like i feel like this is an ex or someone you had a very deep, intense connection with, a lot of fighting, a lot of third parties, a lot of miscommunication, a lot of chasing and running and chasing and running and around and around and around, very cycly, very cycly. It's like, I feel a lot of fear here, a lot of root-based fear from like childhood trauma between the two of you. Not that you were friends as children, maybe you could have been, but there's, there's a shared trauma from childhood that you are helping to heal each other, okay? And this person loves you and they want to be with you and they want to know what you, why do they want to know what you're interested in? Why do they want to know what you're interested in? The four of cups, because they're alone. Are they still with the third party? Are they still with the third party? Are they still with the third party? We have the Queen of Wands and the Three of Wands. They're they're struggling. They're sad and they're struggling to get out of this, but they can't because they're the King of Pentacles in reverse with the Six of Coins and the Eight of Swords. They can't end this cycle because they need this person for financial reasons. Maybe they don't have a car of their own or they don't have their own home. And they're, they're, this is someone that's very scared of losing physical things, losing material things. And so they stay with this person because they offer them stability. And I feel like you don't. I feel like, like I said, you're a little bit of a drama queen, your own person. You like to do your own thing. You like to be independent. You're not like a housewifey mommy type. You know, you're a artsy type, a fly by the seat of your pants type, a traveler, you know. And so I feel like they don't know if that's something you would want. And I don't think they're going to leave their partner if that's not something you want. You know what I'm saying? Like, because they want that. They want a partner. They want a family. They want love. They want a house. They want everything. They want that 10 of cups. But I also feel like they would be judged really a lot if, um, if they left. Why would they be judged? They feel like they would be judged if they left this person. Why? We have strength, Leo energy coming through. Why can't they leave this person? Five of Cups. And the Emperor. With Temperance.
Why do they feel like they would be judged? Maybe their family doesn't believe in divorce. I feel like their father. I feel like they have father issues and I feel like their father was very structured growing up. You were the man of the house. You took care of the bills. You went to work. You weren't creative. His father did not encourage, their father did not encourage their creativity. And so as a result, they lack self-worth. They don't think they're good enough. They're not, they see you, like I said, beautiful, independent, can take care of yourself, doing your thing, being happy, and they don't feel like they can offer you anything. And this pot, person offers them stability. And so they stay out of fear. So if that we could be dealing with an Aries or a Leo or a Sagittarius. So if that resonated, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below and we'll get you set up. Love and light. All right, last pile if you chose the clear quartz. Are they watching you on social media? And what are they thinking? As always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. If it doesn't resonate, don't listen. Find a YouTube reader that can help you. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below and we'll get you set up. So we have Teresa of Avila, Our Lady of the Interior Life. I trust the answers I find within me. I know that the presence of love is real. Receive with love and appreciation. Receiving something lovingly from others is a way of showing love. The Page of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles. Temptation. The Ten of Pentacles. And the Ten of Swords. you got two tens there. So... Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, um, heavy earth, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and some air, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, I feel like this person is very um, cold and closed off. Okay, I feel like this person like tried to buy you or give you money. Um, I feel like this, you might've been married to this person, okay? This might be a, a, a serious ex, something that like was very painful for the both of you. So you can see it looks like it's the same girl. It's like you fell from grace with this person. It's like they had you here and then you were there. You fell from grace with this person. You iced this person out. I feel like this person abused you, was awful to you, mean to you. They are physically, verbally, emotionally, whatever. They were abusive to you. They enjoyed sticking these knives in you. Every time they stuck a knife in you, they enjoyed it. They don't want to see you happy. The reason I say I think it's ex-partner is because if you can see the family in the portrait in the background, you, you this person might have even, this person might have taken something from you, something you value, maybe even your family. This person might have even taken your family from you, but it's like it killed you. But then it's like they regret it. This person regrets stabbing you. Why? Okay, so you see, like I said, you were definitely committed or married to this person, and that's um, Virgo energy coming through. Knight of Swords, Ari, uh, Ari, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I don't know why I said Aries. That's weird. Maybe you're dealing with an Aries. But the Two of Swords, more Air Energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And the Emperor. I knew it. Aries. Yeah, Aries. Most likely with heavy earth in their chart. But the High Priestess. You guys are spiritual. I feel like you guys are spiritual people, okay? And they might have crushed your spirituality. They might have crushed your spiritual gifts. They might have... Um, not um allowed you the freedom to practice if you're a witch or a light worker um a spiritual person something you weren't it's i'm i'm telling you i feel like this is someone that's very religious very strict very stern very family is everything doesn't matter what they no matter what happens you're always you're always theirs it's like they're always they want to win this person wants to win oh shit lot of cards this person wants to win what do they want to win Ooh. we got the six of wands 
and that's way too many. So Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius energy coming through. The Tower and the Five of Pentacles. So this person feels alone without you. They feel like their family is incomplete without you. Okay? I feel like they tried to replace you with somebody. They might have cheated on you and took everything from you. You might share your children with this person, but they're with somebody else. But even though they're with somebody else, they still feel like you're theirs. They own you. This person wants to own you. And I feel like this person's waiting for an inheritance. They might be waiting for some money to try and get you back with money. Magician. Yeah. Aquarius Sagittarius energy. Because they feel like you're their soulmate. You guys might have been together since you were really young. And it might have ended. You, it was very, definitely very long term. You guys might have met as teenagers. You guys might have been married for a long time or committed for a long time. You might share children. But this person enjoyed stabbing you because you left. I feel like you chose your spirituality, your spiritual path over this person because this person was abusive and demanding and controlling and you didn't want to be. You gave up everything to escape the situation, possibly even given up your children to escape from this person. And this person is going to try and get you to come back. They're going to offer you money. They're going to offer to take you out. They're going to say, I'm not, I don't want to see anybody anymore. I feel like this person might have cheated on you while you were together, but they're definitely with someone else, but this other person is not you. And that's what they want. They want you. So yes, they are watching you. And I feel like it's, why are they watching you? Why are they watching you? Why are they watching you? We have the four of cups and the ace of swords. They miss you. See, you walked away. You decided to walk away. You didn't want to take their abuse anymore, their viciousness, and you decided to follow your path. And they don't like it. And they want you back, and they're going to try and come back in. Maybe they might even offer to give you your kids back, come back home. Please move back home. Let's be a family again. I'm sorry. Same old fucking bullshit they probably pulled in the past. Yuck. A couple of nasty ones in there today, guys. All right, if that resonated, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below, and we'll get you set up. Love and light.